I'm going to show you um, SAP's new iPad product for um, CRM sales, or rather Sybases for now. Um, I'm going to show you that you can customize it without changing the app or the middleware. Uh, and if all goes well, I'm going to show you that here. Um, anyway, why is mobility important? So they said that smartphone sales are going to grow 8.9% in the uh, well, hello. That's done. For read only information, you can, you can write BSPs to push out web apps pretty quickly. Um, we found the custom apps pretty hard to integrate with SAP as well for online offline scenarios, and the biggest problem became uh, data synchronization. Um, so we gave up on that, and um, we took the Sybase CRM platform. Um, so SAP co innovated with um, three co innovation partners, and now two although I think RIM technically stays a co-innovation partner. So they built CRM sales for BlackBerry. That's being built on Sybase now. Um, the beta's being released a bit. Um, that's now coming for um, BlackBerry on the Sybase platform. So they're going to support uh, Windows Mobile, iPhone, and RIM uh, kind of probably by the end of Q3. Um, Cyclo remains the co-innovation partner for CRM field service and the AAM. We'll see what happens uh, when SAP come out of their quiet period and what they're going to announce on their roadmap, but there's no point in speculating on that. Um, so, so on to the guts of it, um, which is Sybase's unwired platform. We've got this slightly uncomfortable scenario where we've got um, two sets of middleware. Sorry, I've got to stay close to the microphone, haven't I? Um, so we have NetWeaver mobile middleware uh, with its data orchestration engine. And, and what this does is it, it uh, it sucks data out of CRM via BAPI wrappers and, and puts, these, puts them in normalized tables. Um, these then sit within the DOE platform on NetWeaver. A device comes along through the Sybase platform and registers with the NetWeaver mobile platform. Uh, and um, and as, as it does so, NetWeaver mobile then sends the data down to the device through, through the SUP platform. Does that make sense? So far, so far, so good. Um, what that does effectively um, is it takes the reliance away from the back end system when synchronizing multiple devices. So you, so you don't get this big hit if you subscribe a load of devices to your, to your back end system, which means you continue to run the processes there. Um, the, the downside to this right now is you need two sets of middleware. Um, I would think that assuming the SAP acquisition goes ahead, there'll be some consolidation happening there. We'll, we'll end up with one set of middleware for this. Um, uh, I'm supposing that. Um, but the, the reality is that the Sybase platform is a pretty light piece of middleware. Um, so you can run that on the same piece of equipment as NetWeaver Mobile if you like. Um, and it's, it's, not, it's not a great deal more overhead to manage both, um, even if it's not ideal. It's not architecturally, it's the same chunk as BlackBerry does with their room stuff. It's, it's architecturally, it's the same as Bez effectively, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I, th I guess the other piece here is that within the SUP platform, you can do things like device management with Afari. So if you're going to have a device management platform anyway, you can combine both of these. So uh, I think we'll see it. We'll see some kind of consolidation anyway. And of course, this brings SAP a device management platform as well. Um, so what Sybase did was they, they wrote uh, a part of backend um, adapters for CRM, which they released um, slowly drip-fed with CRM 7, and they've released a load more in the HP 1. So with um, CRM 7, they delivered um, business partners, activities, leads, and opportunities. With um, EHP 1, they've now dropped in sales orders. Um, they've dropped in, what else have they dropped in? Surveys and marketing attributes, I think. So, so they, they're continuing to drip feed back-end functionality. This is then consumed by NetWeaver Mobile into the DOE, and, the, and, the, and this effectively consumes each of these into objects. These objects and their associated logic are then built into a thing called an ESMA. So this ESMA compiler, which, which is, uh, you produce the ESMA in, um, in the NetWeaver Mobile platform, and what this, what this ESMA concept does is it packages up the CRM objects like activities, it packages up business logic and, and it throws it out to a file. This file can then be pulled into the Sybase platform and in doing so it then understands um, the objects that sit behind it. 
what this this enablement this then enables them to do is to produce these things called they call MBOs, mobile business objects. They mentioned here, they're not mentioned on this slide, but effectively this gives them a device independent platform with all the objects and business logic in it. Then they then they write the screens. So for each of those platforms, for iPhone, Windows Mobile, and BlackBerry, you've got to write the screens in whatever programming language is there. Um, so, so the problem there, there then becomes that CRM is always customized, um, either by people who customize for the sake of it or because they genuinely want to create a competitive edge. Either way, even when you configure in CRM terms, you, you, you end up with a load of uh, customization in SAP terms. Um, and what this means is that a, a typical CRM system, um, a, a template app has got no meaning in terms of actual usage. Because if you've got, and uh, if you take the example that we had, the example was that we do our um, pipeline planning uh, using opportunity management, and that has a couple of extra things. We've got project start and end date, um, and we've got something else as well, which I've forgotten, but essentially, well, well the associated revenue. So we know when the project's going to start, when it's going to end, and when we're going to bring revenue in. And therefore, we do our pipeline planning. We do the recruitment on the back of that. So we need our project start and end date on the mobile app. Or otherwise, the people updating it are not going to update the project start and end date. And in doing so, our pipeline planning goes out the window. Um, so what they did was they, they supported customization within the CRM system to push out changes out of the device. Uh, and we can do that in real time, in theory. <laughs> um, it's been done. We'll, we'll see if we can get that to work in a minute. But effectively, when we push the data out to the device, it changes the screens. So if I want to push out a time zone or something simple like that, we can actually push that directly out and it will appear on the device. We'll see how well that works. We can also do things like drop downs, pick lists, date pickers, all things like that. Actually, without making any changes to the applications, without deploying the applications to people's phones, uh, which is where it all gets a bit difficult anyway, especially with the iPhone. Um, 